great musicianship and the beautiful phrasing, the beautiful tone and colors of sound that you created. Let me ask you, how did you feel about your performance? Um, like 80% like good. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think um, there were a few moments, especially in the A string, where I struggled getting the tone quality that I want. Um, but yeah, that, I think that's always been a problem, not just, not just here. Okay, good. Were you breathing? Probably not, no, yeah. <laughs> okay, I noticed especially when, for instance, before you came in in the beginning, ya da 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 preparatory breaths or exhalations were not there. Mm -hmm. And think about how you want to re-oxygenate things and relax muscles and free yourself, right? So when, let me give a chill. I feel like you could free yourself up more in general by adding some breathing into the music and also just freeing yourself. So uh, Right? 
So experiment for a second with scooping the sound out rather than pushing it. Okay. Okay, just try that note.
What's your most gorgeous sound? Um, yeah, that's what I think about all the time. So, so when you have the
you there? Emotionally, what is happening? It's kind of like a outpouring of, if, if this is more internal, then that's more external. Okay. What do you want to do with it? What is it asking you to do? What do you want to do? Forget about the cello for a minute and its challenges. Yeah. I, that definitely is the part where the challenges are inhibiting my musical ideas. Well, that's the thing. We have to, I mean, we, you know, if you notice what I'm asking sometimes, and I think this is a really good question for all, all the musicians here, we have to examine how we feel about the music first, away from the instrument. All the instrumental challenges can be mastered when we take them apart and figure out how to, how to fix them. But we have to ask ourselves first musically, how do we feel? What is the music asking us to do? What are our emotions asking us to do? I think there I, I want to be building and building in intensity. Um, and I think the reason I struggle with that, uh, a lot of it is to do with I struggle with, with vibrating my first finger on shorter notes. Um, yes. And uh, also, feel sometimes that I don't have more to give in the right hand. Yes. Okay. That's a separate issue that we will get to. Sure. Okay? Yeah. Does the music ask you to move forward? I think so. Okay, that's the first thing. We have to free ourselves. Okay? Now we can deal with the technical issues. Okay. All right. Good. So we've established our musical ideas. Good. Can you start from Right there, by yourself, please. Right? 
right? So maybe not all of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's try it with piano right there.
sound. Yeah. A really beautiful sound. How did you feel about your performance? Um, other than that last awesome thing, <laughs> I thought it was, uh, I think, musically, I did love the things that I wanted to do, but I feel like that some technical issues kind of got me with some, some expressive things. Okay. Well, great job. That was really, really good. Um, why no repeats? Um, to be honest, it's more of an endurance thing. Uh, I was not uh, sure if I was going to be able to like really make it through the whole thing if I had done the repeats. Oh, I see. But, yeah. Okay. Because if you were, well, let me ask you, if you were to take repeats, what would you do with the repeats if you were to take them? I would say the first, for the first section, I probably would have like had a more extreme dynamic contrast if you would have started a little quieter. And then um, at like the climactic part, I probably would have tried to make that a little more dramatic. I see. Yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, my first, um, my first comment would be um, about pulse. Okay? The, you started out with what I thought was a really nice pulse. And I think, I think in these movements, it's really, really important to have a really consistent pulse. Um, so we have one, two, three, and another one. Sarah Bond has a has a stress on the second beat, right? So so that we have one, two, three, one, two, right? But you didn't always keep this pulse. At one point you start to speed up quite a bit. Or um, I wasn't sure if when you were taking a, if it was because you were taking a breath or you were just taking a big pause, that sometimes you would lose the pulse with that pause. Um, what is your thought about pulse in this? Um, I felt like, like how I do pulse. Yeah. Um, I feel like I, I, you're right in that I think I stretched it a little too much. I think maybe there, there should be some room for expression, but like you don't see that doesn't seem to be out. <laughs> I mean, one of my one of my thoughts about Bach is structure is extremely important, but within the structure, there's a lot of room for doing this. So, in other words, what you take away, you have to get back, right? So, like if you're doing this, you don't have to go d da da da. da. You can go d da da da. You can move those notes a little more flexibly, but the pulse has to be there, right? Um, that's my own opinion. You're going to hear a lot of different opinions, um, but I like that structure, okay? Um, also, and it may be technically demanding, I'm not sure, but, but when you have, for instance, the, like the... I like playing those second notes softer as possible. Is that difficult when you have a low register? Um, especially at the end, yes. Right. Yeah, that's like an example of sort of technical problems getting... A like, difficult, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go back and work a little bit from the beginning. Now, what if you were to get a clean 
cleaner, slightly more subtle beginning of that sound. So maybe less of an attack. Let's just try right there. So 
they're two very different tempos. Yeah, it's hard to like <laughs> keep it consistent. Right. So if you're doing da 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 Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so that, I mean, as much as I, I don't know if I'd like to do this or not, but maybe some metronome will work. Okay. <laughs> Just to really line it up. Okay? Um, it's easy in this part to start to do this with it. Okay? So maybe once or twice through with the metronome just to help you okay. get structure, right? Okay, let's go from there to the end of the second half. Oh, sorry, from where I just, just Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your best musicianship, right? So you can play it your whole life, 
and it's always a challenge, but it's incredibly rewarding. So, other than that, <laughs> you know, um, what are some of the other things? What do you find to be um, rewarding and challenging about playing this? I just think, as a player, there's, there's not a lot of repertoire that's just so purely expressive, and I feel like with this, it's, there's so much like raw emotion in this. That's, that's, I know it's kind of wishy-washy, but yeah. That, that's no, no, that's, absolutely. That's, that's, about, that's about all I find. Absolutely. <laughs> the, the purity of the music is incredible, right? It's, a, I mean, it's, it's incredibly expressive, but it's not, it's not romantic music, but in its own way, it's very romantic. It's very emotional. You know what I mean? But it's not romantic of the romantic period yeah. type of music, right? But I think it's very heartfelt, right? So I mean, for us, the cellists can speak to it, that, and, and the violinists can speak to it of, of um, how important this music is for us, right? So I, you know, like all during the pandemic, I played so much Bach all the time because that's what you know, it's, it's the go-to for us, right? How many other String players were playing Bach the past year. I wonder, yeah, right? Sure. So, any other questions? That's it. Thank you very much. You played so beautifully.
<laughs> That's great. Okay. How did it feel? That was the first time I've ever performed it. So I feel oh. pretty okay about it. There, there are things that I messed up on that I knew was going to happen. Like one of those psychological things. That the thing you practice the most is that you end up being worse at. For me it was the um, eighth note runs kind of da, 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 da. Those, the fingers got messed up and I think that's just a first nerve kind of two performance missing link. Another thing though is my bow. I feel like I'm pressing for a lot of sound and I'm not giving it a lot of color. I'm just trying to be heard. Yes, one, you know, one of the things we need to fix is balance. Yeah. This is a really tough piece in that way. Yeah. Because you have, it's not a nine foot, or how big is it? Yeah. And the piece was written actually for a much smaller piano, and it's, it's a really demanding and filled up piano part, right? And it's just not really so we have to we have to be a little more mindful of balance, okay? Um, on the other hand, um, we have to work a little bit on getting a little more sound, but doing it in a way that you know feel like this. Yeah, like right. I just ended up like, oh my gosh, I've been pressing so hard for. Like, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So we have to work on balance a little bit. I mean, um, I hesitate to ask you to use half stick because that's not fair, because the sound is better with full stick. But I think there are some things you can do with full stick to make it a little more transparent, okay? Lighter touch, there are some things you can do, okay? Um, let's try the beginning. Let me, uh, I'd just like to go out there and hear the balance a little bit, okay, just for a second. Okay. So, you know, things like, for instance, when you have the um, Did you ever play a 14 piano? Okay, do you remember what they feel like? Okay, so the can be nice and light. But when you have the important things, bring those out more. And any repeated figure, you know how 14 pianos sound really different in different registers and how they're transparent? That's the sound we're going for. Okay? Um, how do you feel making sound at the beginning? I feel better than I used to. Um, I feel like it starts, the first couple measures are really great, um, and then it gets a little pressed. Okay. Can you, uh, first of all, can you turn facing out? Yeah. So that we're not in the um, I feel like you're angled this way. Okay. Because your, yeah, your cello is going to be turned. Do you turn a little bit this way when you play? Yeah, I do actually. That's why this is on this side. I feel like usually cellos put it there. Right. Um, yeah, and then I like to go here too, but I have to do it there, so. Oh, oh. Yes. Do you want to sit a little bit? No, I don't think it's in. No, that would okay. be like a performance. Okay, now let's try it like that. Okay, I'll get to other things in a second. I just want to hear how this sounds. Okay. So that's what, you know, sometimes you have to tweak things around a little bit. Thank you. That's good. Okay. So, all right. So what are you feeling when you're playing? I feel a little bit nervous. Uh, no, not nervous. <laughs> like excited kind of energy. Um, how I hope to, um, to feel it, especially when I'm very comfortable with it, is um, kind of like, it's 
Right. So, and it starts, the first movement starts very much in the same way, with the same figures. Da, 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 da. So, yeah, right. it's the same kind of just like, it's childlike. Great. Can you play the opening by yourself? Yeah. 
too muddy. Mm -hmm. If it's here, it starts to get on a or scratch. Right, right. So then you have to start doing that mm -hmm. and then see how much of this you apply. Right, so it's clean. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do? 